Hey everyone, it's Luron here and welcome back to my channel. Guys, in today's video I want to cover five stocks that I believe have a great upside potential. Now these are Chinese stocks and as you guys know, over the past year the Chinese government has been involved in an antitrust uh, crackdown and a lot of these stocks has gotten caught up in the whirlwind of these crackdowns. So in this video, I'll be going over the technical analysis to show you guys why these are great opportunities because some of these stocks are down 50, 60, 75% in some cases. So stick around guys and I'll jump right into it. Now, if you're new to the channel guys, remember to subscribe, smash that like button because it helps with the algorithm, it helps the channel to grow. And that's the only way I can continue to bring you guys premium content. So before, without further ado, let's jump right into it guys. So the first one that I wanna look at guys is um, BABA. As you can see here, BABA is just, you know, if you look back in the history of this stock guys, you'll see that this stock is, you know, it's a top player in the market for sure. You know, it's a New York Stock Exchange listed stock. And as you can see here, the first big breakdown this, tech, this stock had was back in 2014, 15. The stock broke down 52%. And ever since then, the stock just has rallied in over the years, um, just greatly, you know, 273%. So this breakdown that we're looking at right now, guys, it's, I think it's more than that, you know, previous breakdown. We're looking at, um, let's, let's look at this one here. We're looking at 53%, uh, 55% right now on uh, Alibaba on the breakdown. Now I've started to buy Alibaba, I think at 170, I bought some at 160. And um, last Friday I bought some at that 145 level. And I'll keep buying this stock. There's a big gap to get to fill. Done at 125. And um, I don't think it'll get all the way to the gap, but if it gets there to that gap fill, I can see that being the key reversal level. But guys, this is a great company. Let me pull up the um, Finviz just to show you guys, you know, the um, sales uh, on this stock. Look at this guys, this stock or this company you know, it has a 385 billion, you know, market cap, which is way on the value for this stock, guys, for the amount of revenue that uh, this company produce. Now, this stock is 119 billion in sales, 22 billion uh, net income. Look at the EPS on this thing, guys. It's it's a growth machine. Look at the look at the sales on this thing. It's a growth machine over the past five years. Now this stock is your, your Amazon, but this is the Chinese, you know, Alibaba is the comparable, you can compare this with Amazon, um, basically. And Amazon, if you look at Amazon market cap, you'll see that it's, you know, trillion dollar, 1.7, you know, trillion dollars. Uh, that's the, the, value, the market cap value of Amazon. Now Amazon is bringing in, you know, more sales, you know, but in terms of efficiency, you know, uh, sales to net earnings, um, Alibaba is a better company. Look at there, you know, we got 400 billion and Amazon is, you know, barely bringing in 29 billion out of that 400 billion. So if you look at the percentage of net income from the, the gross sales, Alibaba is a better company, you know. So Amazon 29 billion, Alibaba is bringing in 22 billion on 119 billion in sales. And look at the market cap for this company. So if you're looking for a company that is undervalued, it is Alibaba. And um, like I said, this crackdown wouldn't last forever because it's in the Chinese government's best interest to make these, you know, allow these companies to recover and do well. Because if these companies don't do well, then guess what? China doesn't do well. So they're involved in the crackdown right now just to get these companies in line to make sure they're not, you know, you know, disrupt, disrupting the competition fear competition in the marketplace in China because some of these companies were just getting so large and they're just dominating you know all the other smaller players you know taking over and this type of stuff so that's what the Chinese government is trying to make sure that they can stabilize have some control have a handle on what's going on so that's my first pick guys Alibaba this is a no-brainer I just showed you guys some of the basic fundamental stuff also and the technically this chart is just done for most people when they look at charts, you know, for stocks going down so much, you know, like who wants to buy? Like the average invest, do, investor uh, do not want to put their money in a stock that's falling like this. When do you want to put your money? When it's at the top here? No, that's not where you want to invest your money. 
And that's what so many of those, uh, you know, rookie investors want to do. They want to buy when it's bullish and it's going up. Then when it's going up, then it can only go down from there and you don't make money. So if you have some money lying around and you're looking to add to your portfolio, guys, this is my first pick. The second one is uh, Baidu. Uh, so Baidu is, um, you know, this is your Netflix of uh you know of china basically you know this is a comparable stock to netflix you know it has all that streaming stuff there's some more technology uh development involved with this company as well i won't get into too much of the details there in the fundamental side i expect you guys to do your your, your reading but um this stock is done almost 60 plus percent um let's uh let's adjust this camera here so we can see clearly uh, yeah, let's look at this one. We're down 62% guys. This one is not a stock that is prime and ready uh, to break up to the upside. Let's look at some of the fundamental stuff in Finviz here for Baidu. Uh, my internet is a little slow today for some reason. Uh, it's kind of strange. Okay, so yeah, that's it for Baidu guys. Um, like I said, it's down 62%. And in my opinion, this is a great buy at these levels. You know, even if it breaks a little lower and we get that double bottom there, I wouldn't sweat this one. I'm certainly, you know, adding as this stock. I, I added some here and last Friday bought some more here and I'm looking to write this one up. Um, so these are long term holes. These aren't I know you guys are used to me uh, showing you guys uh, those options trading uh, videos. This one is purely stocks. So I'm looking to you know, buying stocks on these positions. And I'm looking to hold these for six months to a year because that's when I think the recovery will actually uh, take place. It can start in, in a month or two, but in terms of you know, maximizing my gains on these ones, um, we're looking about six months to a year. My target is about back up to this, uh, you know, about 80% back to this level uh, on these stocks. And that's uh, exactly what I'm looking to cover. Next stock I want to touch on briefly, guys, is G JD. Uh, this is another uh, internet retailer, and um, you know the fundamental side. This stock makes this company makes a ton of money. You certainly uh, don't want to you know miss this one uh, for any reason. Um, JD, let's pull that up. As you can see here, the market cap is uh, 112. The stock makes about uh, 132 billion in sales, has a 5.6 billion net income. As you can see, it's a um, profitable company for sure. And um, the growth is just, you know, stair stepping. That's the type of companies I usually uh, follow and try to uh, trade. Uh, those companies have uh, great earnings, uh, great sales, and great net profit. Some of them uh, do not have a great net profit as yet. They're not profitable, but uh, once that growth is there, that's usually the stocks I'm involved with. Now, in terms of the percentage breakdown on this one, we're looking at uh, 42%. This one is a little higher right now. I bought some at the bottom here. I sold some here. I'm waiting for this to come back down to these levels uh, before I buy again. So I'm not buying, I'm not pulling the trigger yet. And I don't, I don't advise you to pull the trigger at this position because this has some room to come back down a little bit. The next one we have here on the list, guys, is uh, 10 cent. Now, this is not a monster. Um, you know, growth machine for a stock. Uh, TME, let's look at the fundamentals here. Uh, again, this one, great sales. There's a lot of downgrade on this one, but this stock is down big time, guys. And it's one of, it looks 78%. Let me ask you one question. When do you want to buy a stock? When it's up 100, 200% or when it's down 78%? This stock is down 78% because of the crackdown of the antitrust, you know, investigations that the Chinese government is, you know, involved with. But the fundamentals for these stocks that I just mentioned didn't change one bit. Yeah, there was some divestment for Alibaba, you know, you know, shedding some of its investment in some of the, you know, its companies. But overall, guys, you know, we're talking about, you know, maybe 5%, 6% reduction in, in, in some cases. Look at that, guys. 78%, 10 cent is down. This is a monster company. Controls a lot of the, um, you know, entertainment and uh, music industry uh, in China. So 78% is a sale, guys. When you guys go to shop for your home, you know, whether you're buying clothing, you know, furniture, 
you always look for you know when there's a sale right you're trying to shop black friday and all these you know auto big events where there's big markdowns when it comes to stock guys you certainly want to adopt the same principle you want to buy stock when they're marked down 50 60 80 percent in this case this is a steal so you want to load up some of this uh this this company in your portfolio and uh lastly here guys i'll just couple a couple more here we have neo which is um uh, ev car manufacturer we also have xping um you know these stocks are down i'm not buying these ones right now they're still up um, a little bit I would I would expect some more markdown and also in Lee Auto I expect some more markdown in these ones so my big picks for today like I mentioned guys is Alibaba uh, Baidu uh, I'm looking at JD and also looking at Tencent those are my uh, my what five picks um, for this video uh, that wraps it up for this video guys remember if you're new to the channel remember to subscribe smash that like button it helps the algorithm it helps the channel to grow and until next time